today's video. Yeah, I know, I'm talking to them, Ruby, not you. <laughs> Ruby thinks that everything is about her, and yeah, that that's uh, just flesh in my ears this morning. Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, so tell them what we're doing this morning. Uh, so we're fidget trading. We're fidget trading, this is what it looks like. Yeah. And these so, are all the fidgets. This is a Klein, this, this was supposed to be a plus to add, but I did an X instead. For okay. So I have to fix it. <laughs> and there's the now. daisy. And this is accept. So I'll okay. show you what to do. Okay. Okay. So trading this mini, mini pocket. Okay. So you're trading that. Yeah. So okay. I will trade you that for this little ringy thing. Add. Add. Oh, so that means I have to put add. Some more stuff in. Okay. I'll put you another one of these ringy dingy things. Add. I will give you this dog that won't leave me alone. I don't. Know. Um. All right. Fine. I got the play-doh. Except. All right. You have to press accept. Accept. So that's all. I, so you took this, this is all I got. You got all that stuff, and this is all I got. But that's a poppet. So. How come it's small? Did you cut it? Yeah, it was my heart poppet, and then I cut it. Why did you do that? Because I don't like my heart poppet. All right. So I got all ripped right. off. I got only a quarter of a poppet. Ruby, go away. Ruby, get. Okay. So, now, you now I do it. All right, I have all these to choose from, you guys. Why did I even trade that? Because I already have this sucker. All right, so I like these slinky dinky things. Monkey noodles? Monkey noodles. I got four of them. So I'm only going to trade one, the least favorite color. Sorry, blue. I trade yeah, I this. Put it on your side. Oh, I trade that. Um, I'll, I'll Are we making a TikTok or what? Look at all the, look at all the fidget Sophie this has. She can have noodles. a fidget store. Uh, add. Um, marble and mesh. Add. This. See? Add. Decline. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Alright, fine. I want the banana. See the banana? Bonito? Yeah, I want the banana. Alright. I will trade you an orange for a banana. Except. Oh, yay. <laughs> See, I, Mama always gets what she wants. Anyways, right. welcome to today's video. Today, uh, there's a couple of miracles I want to share with you. Uh, I'm going outside to water my garden, and before I do, I wanted to share a miracle that happened the other day at the barn that I didn't get a chance to share because so much was going on. So you guys know that Sophie has been uh, struggling with Finn for a long time, and I keep on saying that she's coming into her own now. She's finally at that age, which this is the normal age to develop her own responsibility for her riding and she's doing that. So when Fiona was braiding Chino for the show, Sam sat in the arena with Sophie and she took charge of her own ride. She rode Finn and it was the first time she ever rode him alone in the arena. Usually she's like, I can't ride him alone, you'll be scared. She didn't even think about that. Did you even think about that? Yeah. Oh, she just did it. She just went in there and rode him. It was after his schooling ride. It's normal for horses to have schooling rides. It's normal for trainers to tune up your horses, especially horses like Finn. We've never had access to that before because of just where we've always ended up. And now we do. As soon as Brandon said he would do some schooling rides on Finn, we were like, yes! <laughs> and it made a big difference. Did you find it made a big difference? But the big change was that... The first time Brandon over ever rode Finn, we didn't show you guys because Brandon is, was very, he's a very strong, confident, quiet, amazing rider, you guys know. Um, but he also doesn't put up with any crap and Finn was throwing lots of crap and that's why Brandon got on him the first time it was at our barn and he didn't take no for an answer and Finn at that point was like, he felt like he didn't have, he couldn't say no. And so that's the day that he started rearing. You guys remember when he reared and we had all that problem getting him not to rear again. So from the first time he rode Finn to this time, Finn is a different horse, a totally different horse. And that's all because of Sophie. Sophie has trained Finn. Sophie has taught Finn. They've learned together and it's been such a massive change. I think I'm going to make a video of like the prog progression that they've done. You think you've progressed Finn a lot? Yeah. And so Finn was excellent for Brandon. And yeah, of course, Brandon's going to ride him beautifully and tune him up for Sophie, who's not obviously at that level and is never going to ride him as well as Brandon for a long time. And that's okay. That's what's normal. But anyways, the miracle was that Sophie used to be afraid to ride Finn by herself. 
with no other horse in the arena. She used to be afraid of vertical. She used to be afraid of all these things. But the other day, she went into the barn with her dad and she just rode beautifully. She rode beautifully. You were not getting her striding that day, but. She wasn't getting her striding that day and Finn's usually really good about striding. But they rode beautifully. I was so impressed, so proud, so amazed. And I'm gonna show you guys that footage right now because I think it deserves to be shown. You think so? We're still fidget training. Oh, and I'm gonna still fidget, fidget train, water my garden, and then there's another miracle down at our barn. And I cannot wait to show you. It's shocking. So um, we'll see you guys back here after you guys watch Sophie and Finn. So when you're leaving tomorrow, just give me something to hold on to. Come true. Right. Got the jump set up now. There's the jump. And there's Sophie. Sophie came down with a pile of mints and Penny was her best friend. I think Penny's getting used to you. It's under her foot. She's stepping on it. The princess and the pea. She is not a princess, you guys. She does not feel a giant mint under her foot. So uh, poop picking the field is one of my favorite things, especially this field that's all sand. But I want to show you guys another miracle. That I am crowded and they're gonna start squealing at each other. I am terrified. <laughs> I know that happens to me. And you have no way out because there's a bucket in front of you. All right, go put them away so that the horses. Uh... It's fine. They dodge me. I know they dodge Gabby. Do you want to be a Gabby though? Do you want your horse to always dodge you, or do you want your horse? Yeah, you do. I want my horse to come to me. Listen, okay. listen, Missy. All right. So they the horses just got their feet done. All three of them, they just, the farrier, our farrier was just here. And I wanted to show you guys something that was incredible that just happened. At the show, I heard it at volleyball. Yeah, Gabby keeps hurting her hip. She heard it at the show. What were you doing when you heard it? I was full seating the canter, and then it popped. kind of, woo, and I landed the wrong way. Landed the wrong way? Okay, so you guys know that Penny, when I got her, she had weird eyes and they would get cloudy and dirty. Don't pin your ears at me. Don't be mean to my horse, Missy. Don't, Don't pin your ears to her. Mom. Don't be nice to my horse. Why? Why don't you want me to be nice to your horse? I had to be included to the fight. Oh, okay. So anyways, Penny had yucky eyes. You guys know we tried a lot of things. We tried like a liver cleanse. We tried a kidney cleanse. We tried a uh, fly mask at night in her stall, which we I only did once. Well. And it turned out that, get out of the poop pile, Penny. Get out. And what happened, what it turned out to be, was that she had like a deformity and she's missing parts of her eyelid. And it, that's how I bought her and that's how she was. And we've had her for, it, let me see, how long have I had Penny? We've had Penny for 10 months now. 10 months, like almost a year. No, 
nine months. You've had Penny for nine months. But anyways, the craziest thing after nine months, like it took nine months for this to happen, but her eyelids are growing back. So the other day I was looking at her and I was like, why? Like, cause her eyes have been really clean and really clear. And I try not to focus on it cause it bothers me so much. So I've been paying, I've been like really trying not to focus on it and pay attention to it. I just wanted to enjoy her and love her for who she is, even though she has missing eye eyelids. And her and I've noticed that her eyes have been better and better and better and better. Like this whole summer, pretty much, she has hardly had any weird eye goop. And so last night I was loving on her because she, uh-oh, she doesn't like the camera. Or she doesn't like Willow near me. So, so last night I, she asked me to clean her and I was brushing her and I was noticing, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's just one little tiny spot there. You see that little tiny spot? All the rest of that eyelid has completely filled in. And then on this side, you can see, see that spot that's clear there? Like there's one spot that doesn't stick up as much, but it's puffing out. Like she's actually growing eyelid there. Like it, it used to be like really thin, like she's actually growing her eyelids back. So I don't know why it took nine months for that to happen, but I know that she's, that, that it's happened. Like actually shocking to me. I love to watch that girl run, she's so pretty. Yeah. So anyway, her eyes are clearing up, she's doing better, and it's because she's growing eyelid back. It's just shocking to me, absolutely shocking. You want me to scooch it? Sometimes when Penny's itchy, she and she and I'm here, she'll throw her head to me and then point to the spot so that I'll scratch it for her. It's so funny. You're so funny, Penny Penny Pickle. You're so funny. And you're a brat. You are the brattiest horse. Alright, let's Alright, let's see what happens when Willow goes down there. Then let's try Penny. Well, oh, she just runs right back too. Look at how cute. Can I try with Penny? Yeah, try with Penny. All right, go with Sophie. Go with Sophie. Sophie. Yeah. Walk. You guys think she's just gonna walk? Hopefully she just walks because she's supposed to just walk. So while Sophie gets the halter and takes Penny down to the other end and see what she does, I wanted to tell you guys about Penny's injury. I've been wanting to ride her so bad lately. Like I really want to ride her. I'm obviously I would never, but her injury is so minor that when the, when the vet was here last, he told me like, watch, when he squeezes on her, on her ligament and she pulled her leg to get back, he had to push so hard to evoke uh, a pain response from her. Like he had to really, really, really try to get that response. And he said he probably could get the same response with the same pressure on the other side and he did it and it was just slightly less. So like her injury is literally, I caught it so fast. Her only symptom, she wasn't lame. Her only symptom was that she didn't want to move forward and I could tell there was something different. And so it was like not even a full blown injury. It was just like the very beginning of it being sore and I caught it and he came and she's off and we're resting her. And so she'll be good unless I dreamed of her running. So. I believe that she'll be fine. All right, let's see. Penny Pickle. She's gonna poop, because that's her pooping spot. There's no poop, I cleaned it all up. She's like, what is wrong with this? Yeah, she's not gonna run. Good girl, Penny. Good girl. Come on, Pen. Come on. Oh, see, told ya, she's gonna go down there and poop. Cause that is what she does. So this is the carnage, you guys. You clean your, oops, you clean your barn and then the farrier comes and you end up with all the junk everywhere. So we went to the P.O. office, P.O. box office and- And I got a letter. Sam got a letter. Who's it from? And it's from Judy. Judy. Oh, is that? It says Dad's right? Day Off, so it's. Oh, she knows you. Father's Day card. That's awesome. 
Hope Father's Day finds you doing what you love. Nothing. Doug and Judy. Aw, that's so kind. There's a letter. A beautiful letter. It says, we have enjoyed seeing more of you in the videos. You are a lot like my husband. They have 20 acres. Aw, what a beautiful letter. That's so kind. Thank you for the letter. Sam feels misunderstood because I always got to be doing stuff. They must have Arabians. Yeah, they have Arabians. But Sam and I, so I always want to be busy. I always have to be doing stuff. As soon as I put down the camera, I'm going outside to weed at the front garden with the snakes. Yeah. If you hear me screaming, it's because I interrupted one. Sam likes to do nothing. So Sam and I are pretty evenly matched other than the fact that I'm busy and he's not. So we also got a package that I know. So he's excited. So Daisy has two yeah, tags <laughs> and she lost one of her tags today. And this beautiful girl yellow. made these tags. She messaged me yesterday and it's yellow. It, I can't really show it very well. Hold on. There we go. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> Ruby's like, what about mine? <laughs> Molly. One for Molly. Hey. Ruby, stop. They're their colors. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even the dogs are excited. Daisy much prefers red. <laughs> and red for Ruby. Ruby red. Oh, Aren't they nice? So nice. Oh, wow. I feel <laughs> So she made these. I don't know how she made them, but they're really cool. Let's go around the dog's neck. That's beautiful. You can hang that in your room, Sophie. It's gorgeous. Thanks. Yeah, they come in these cute little bags that Sophie loves. Mm -hmm. And this is the girl that made them. Ethereal. Ethereal. Uh, how do you say that? Mm -hmm. Ethereal moon. Ethereal, eth, ethereal moon. Oh. And that's her Etsy, Etsy shop and her Instagram and her Pinterest. You guys see it? So if you guys want to order your own dog tag or your own horseshoe, you can go there. I love that. I love these. Literally love them. She showed them to me and they're gorgeous. So if Ruby's got hers on, look, Daisy's like, give me mine. Oh, her letter is adorable. It says she's been watching her videos for a long time. And we never failed to make her day brighter. So she was helping to make ours a little brighter too with these gifts from her small business. I like the half that I have. Yeah, I love rubies because it's all red. Like the red looks amazing, all red. But I love these ones that are half white and half colored. Like the gorgeous. All right. Really hard plastic too. Like they're really nice. Let's see, Days. Daisy. I love rubies too. We're gonna go put Molly's on hers. Thank you so much for the amazing fan mail. I love it. And I like I, how they're all different. I have... love how they're all different and I really love them. Like they're really nice. Daisy's has I I would order them. Show them. Show them your tag. See? This is like his whole. Ah. Daisy, I love you in yellow. Yeah, I love you in yellow. Uh. Ruby. I love Ruby and Ruby Red. Oh my god. Help me. Help me. <laughs> They're painful. excited. They're like, finally. It's painful. Finally, mail for me. Help me. <laughs> no. There we go. Molly's got her Molly on now. Daisy was aggressive. Super cute. I was touching Molly, so Daisy barked at Molly. Like, <laughs> get away from her. I know. Good for you. I know. She didn't send one for you. Macy's like, what about mine? Oh, Gabby has a letter too. She made keychain things. Are they keychains or are they? Keychain things. Let's see. So this is from Haley. She's an 11 year old girl from Ontario and she hopes that we'll get this letter. She okay. loves our videos and they're super supportive oh. and make her feel confident. So, yeah. Catch. When she watches our videos, it makes her want to ride her heart out. This is yours. She made these adorable little keychain thingies. That's what she called them, keychain th key, key chain thingies with our names on them. I got yellow. I got pink. Sophie, whoops. Sophie, Sophie got pink. <laughs> Daisy's like, I want it for myself. Uh, Sam, oh, I love yours. Sam got blue and Gabby got? White. White. Thank you so much, Haley. I got white. 
Thank you so much, Haley. It's so kind of you. We love them and we love all of your letters and all of your notes and things that you send in your cards. Thank you guys so much for being sweet and for being kind to us. Right, Daisy? <laughs> right, Daisy? <laughs> I think she just pulls her collar off. Even our dogs like to see, even our dogs like getting mail. <laughs> right? Don't you know that you're beautiful?